Everybody has their doubts, but you can't stop now. You just, you just gotta. It's Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. Today I am wearing my Disney ears and you know what that means. It is time for a Disney themed video, which I'm really excited because I usually don't do too many Disney themed videos. I basically only do like my vlogs when I go to Disney World. I don't do too many Disney themed videos except like my vlogs when I go to Disney World. So today I decided that I would do a Disney themed video. So I threw on my rose gold ears. These are my absolute favorite. They're so pretty. I got them last year when I went to Disney World with my mom for my birthday. And that vlog will be linked down below as well as my previous Disney World vlogs. And get ready because there is another four days of Disney vlogs coming your way. I am leaving on Thursday for Disney World. So I thought today would be the perfect idea as you guys can see from the title of this video to share with you guys what's in my Disney bag so I go to the parks quite frequently I try to try to go to Disney at least once a year if I can it's not always what I can do but when I can I love to go and any opportunity I get to go I'm taking so it this is the bag that I got it is from Loungefly if you guys haven't heard of Loungefly before they carry a lot of Disney based products and they have amazing quality backpacks wallets bags anything you can think of Loungefly has so many cute items and it's genuine leather. It's really, really nice quality. I have used this already multiple times and I love this bag. It is the little Minnie Mouse bag. It has the little Mickey ears and then the Minnie Mouse bow. It's leather and has the little studded detail here. And there is some side pockets on the side as well. I love this backpack. It is perfect size for the parks and I carry everything that I need. Fits in here. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started and share with you guys what's in here. Um, everything that I mentioned I will try to link down below. And yeah, so let's get started. So what I usually do is I like to attach a water bottle to my backpack because that way you don't have to pay for the mugs at the park you can save some money and you have a refillable reusable water bottle so I don't have mine yet I just ordered it on Amazon that I'm just gonna clip onto this when I go um, so I will link that water bottle down below in case you want to get one for yourself it comes in multiple sizes and I got the smallest one so let's get started we have this front pocket here and I usually don't keep anything in here just because I don't feel the need to carry anything in this pocket um, if I do put anything in there it might be my phone just when I'm like hopping on a ride and I just want to put my phone away really quick I might throw it in there or I'll put it in these side pockets it just kind of depends so let's go ahead and open it up so the first thing that we have in here is my little Michael Kors wallet I like using smaller wallets when I go to Disney World because you don't want to carry around a big chunky thick heavy wallet you want something that's compact and small so that it stays super light in your backpack because with all this stuff that I carry your backpack does get a little bit heavy so just keep that in mind um, this is a great way to to shrink down some things in your wallet just bring a smaller wallet and you guys know I got this from Michael Kors it was in my recent haul video okay the next thing that we have in here is my little stick for my vlogging camera which coincides with my vlogging camera I carry these both in my um, backpack I carry them separately because if I attach the vlogging camera to the tripod it will just be too big for my backpack so I just kind of do it separately um, I usually vlog just freehanded and with my new camera it's easier to vlog and get a wider angle than my last vlogging camera so I'm really excited to take my Disney World vlogs this year with this camera I'm super excited. It's the Canon G7X. I love this camera for vlogging and this is just a joystick that I got from um, Amazon actually for like seven or eight dollars. I don't carry too much stuff in my bag um, and then I will always have my cell phone but it's actually charging right now so obviously that would be in my bag. I also carry the charger for my phone as well just because your phone dies so frequently at Disney World so you have to make sure you are charged up. The next thing that I have in here is a little mini wet brush. It's just one that I got from Target and it's just a little mini wet brush you need to carry a brush because when you're going on the rides and stuff your hair gets all over the place and if you want your pictures to turn out good with the characters or pictures with your family and friends you want to make sure that your hair is not a hot mess so I always carry a little wet brush because I need to brush my hair constantly it gets knotty it's long after the roller coaster my hair is all over the place so it definitely comes in handy when you want to touch up the next thing I have in here is my little portable charger I believe I got this one from Walmart um, it holds up to I think it could charge up to two devices 
devices. Um, it has the USB and charging port there, just a light pink one. I always charge this up the night before because like I said, your phone dies at Disney so fast, you need to have a portable charger with you. Um, if not, your phone will die within like the first three hours. If you're like me who's Snapchatting and taking photos of everything, like I've never been there before, but I just have to take tons of photos and memories and I need a portable charger. So this is something I highly recommend for you if you're going to the park. Okay, and then the last thing inside this backpack, as you guys can see, look how cute the little polka dots interior, super cute. The last thing I have in here is this Little Mermaid um, little pouch. It's like a wristlet. And I got this actually from Torrid a few years ago. It's super cute. Ariel is my favorite princess, so I had to have her on there. And when I saw that Flounder was on it, it was immediately sold because Flounder is like my favorite little character on the side. It's like Flounder and then Pua, so. All right, so in this, I have a ton of stuff. This is like my major necessity items. So the first thing that I have in here is natural hand sanitizer. This is the Purell Naturals hand sanitizer. Just in case you can't get to a bathroom really quickly, you want to, you can't wash your hands, the lines are long, whatever it may be, you need hand sanitizer. There's germs everywhere at Disney World, so hand sanitizer it is. And to go along with the rest of the germs, I have these Clorox disinfecting wipes to go. It's just a small little pouch. You can get these in the travel section. These are really good to have if you're you know, traveling in the airplane, um, especially just to have if you need to wipe down an area because there's no other seats but the messiest table. No worries, you have some Clorox wipes to wipe everything down and just clean everything up. And then I also always bring, that stuff is coming out of here. I also carry wet ones, and these ones again are the wet lock. Um, I also carry wet ones because these also are antibacterial hand wipes. So if you feel that the hand sanitizer isn't doing it for you, you have these wet one wipes. It kills germs. This is the citrus scent. It smells super good. Cleans hands better than hand sanitizer. So I like to have a combination of all of these things um, because you guys know the germaphobe life that is me. I have to have that stuff with me. The next item that I have in here is allergy eye drops. Um, I have allergies in the springtime and if I'm going to Disney in the spring, I know that I'm gonna be going when the Flower and Garden Festival is um, happening, which is right now. So if I go to Epcot and I don't have these eye drops, my eyes are going to be killing me and itching and burning and I need my eye drops so I always carry eye drops with me again if you don't have allergies or you don't suffer from that problem um, then you probably won't need to carry this but because I have allergies I have to carry that the next thing that I have in here is a stack of band-aids just in case anyone in my group or I need band-aids and I don't have time to go back to the front at guest services and see if they can get me some first aid stuff. I just always carry some band-aids with me. It's super important and you never know what's going to happen. Your shoes, you're going to get blisters, anything like that. You just never know. So I carry that inside there and then I also carry two types of hair ties um, just because I might have one on me but I might take my hair put it up and down it just kind of depends so I have a regular scrunchie and then a regular hair tie that I just keep in here just in case anyone in my party as well needs a hair tie or anything like that and then the last two things that are in this little pouch here is my Excedrin because I do suffer from migraines from time to time so I like to always have Excedrin with me. It's super important because I suffer from headaches. Then I also carry naproxen sodium. This is if I don't have a migraine, I just have a headache or my I have having like cramps or my legs are hurting or any type of pain or inflammation stuff. I always carry naproxen sodium with me because it's good for headaches and stuff like that if I'm not having a migraine, I'm gonna take that. So I always carry those with me because they are a necessity and I have to have them with me. So yeah, that is everything that I carry in my Disney bag. I don't carry too much stuff, but I carry enough to make my backpack a little bit heavy. So I hope this video helped you if you're going to Disney World in the near future, if you're going soon. I'm leaving very, very soon for Disney World, so I can't wait, so stay tuned for all of those videos. Let me know if you guys like this What's in My Disney Bag video. Give this video a thumbs up, and let me know if you guys want me to do more Disney-themed videos, because I love Disney World, and I love everything about Disney, so any chance I get to talk about it, I love to. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on all my social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. You guys will see all my Disney stuff on there, so definitely follow me there. And that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful and magical day, and I will see all of your beautiful faces in my next video. Bye, guys. We're